thank you for watching my videos and let us learn today about updating formulas dynamically on excel so everyone knows like you know uh, we will be doing lot of updates that is we will be doing lot of formulas on an excel but most of the people they will be keep on updating the same formula every time but not knowing about the dynamic formula so initially dynamic formula is nothing but it will gets automatically updated once you enter the numbers or once you enter the data so let us try that so if you look at the screen i have a couple of numbers in front of me that is with different subjects all together so let me try initially with the sum that is my alt plus plus which is the overall and do a drag and drop auto field which we call it as next is average then it is average of then i am selecting the entire over here which i am getting here my okay now there is something called a ranking which i would like to do for basis on my average or i can do basis on my the total ones but now let me try to tell you one more thing that what if, if i want to enter the fourth number and which is something gives a different answer so i'm just entering the fourth row however what if you have hundreds of rows like this when you keep on just adding the rows either the first thing which you which comes into our mind is uh, doing your autofill or updating the numbers manually or the formula only so here to get my formula either i do a drop down or again i do a sum of my numbers right so this is one of the tedious work which everyone would get to do that so however why can't we get rid of this so for that we do one thing which is called the formulas dynamically updating it so let us try that so before we do that what i would like to help you out is if let me remove this particular cell above okay and select the entire data and press control t which is called a create table and you can also do that with the in the help of insert click on table and just click on okay however make sure that you have my tables as headers are selected because my table has headers as that is name subjects total and etc right now click on okay once you are done with that okay. so this is how you get this so by default the design will be like this or if you want you can select the design click on the design select the design whatever you want like to and make it normal or plain or anything which you feel like so now my table is ready so let me enter the day uh, row fourth row which is four See, automatically once i update the four it shows my total as well as average now you give some name to this which will automatically populate the total and average of course you can also populate the rank once you enter the some kind of score into that let me see let me give you that hint also so i have entered the uh, updates here so the total as well as average has come over here let's try for the rank so for the rank i try for average so is equal to rank what i take the formula and average now i take the overall average as a ranking there is a list data list now i would like to need is the top average should be my priority okay that is my descending order so i keep as a zero and hit enter so now if you see the screen my one at one which is the top one has one 100.8 is a two then 83.6 and 85.6 something like this so you now you try to add some more data for this something like that okay now it will give it will give you one more score for this also like right so this is how it comes in i think everyone is able to understand that you know how quickly we can you know reduce our time by using the formulas which are dynamically up to date 
So everything is getting automatically updated. So no matter. So tomorrow, like you know, if you have hundreds of pages of data, just you do a copy paste. Never change for anyone until you need a change because you are unique. Now I'm up all night. I'm picture. Play about an important function on updating these numbers as well as the text. So here, if you see, most of the cases we'll be failing to give a formula out on. Where, so wherein we use a text as well as a number. So if you look at that, I have 11 kgs and the prices are 100 rupees. So if you talk about the formula, your 11 kgs into your price would not be able to consider the formula over here. Let me check on that quickly. So if you see, it shows zero, right? So we will not be able to calculate these formulas, however, you need to be very quickly be aware of these things. So initially what you need to do is you need to make sure that you are, what you are changing here, that is over here the number comes in first and the kg comes in the second, okay. Now what you do is select this data and go to your control one which is your formatting cells, then click on custom, then whatever the general is here, so remove that general. Now what is there in first? My number. Number is nothing but it's in a hash symbol. Now keep quotations and what I need to do is K, G and close the quotations here and click on OK. Okay. Now let's see. Let's try to edit this data. So if I keep 11 or 22, sorry. So here 11, here 10, 5 and okay, that's it. So now let me put a formula here is equal to 22 kgs into my 100 rupees which is 2200. Do a drag and drop, you got the number. So now simultaneously when you would like to go with something like rupees. So here uh, be cautious that your rupees has come in front and then your number at the next as a last. right? So select the data, go for a cut, format cells and a custom. Click on general, remove the general. Now I have the rupees in the beginning. That is select quotations, rupees, close the quotations, give a space and my hash, hashtag, right? Now click on OK. Now what you get? You enter whatever you as rupees on this. Now if you are doing a sum of that, you will also get the same way. Select this and hit enter, you get the sum of you. So I hope everything is clear. So please comment uh, if you have any questions on that. Like and share my videos. Thank you very much for the day. Now I'm up all night. I'm picture.